Hey everybody, I wanted to go ahead and do a quick little video on the bar website and get you over there and show you what it's all about and really good information on uh, keeping your license up to date and keeping up to what's going on in the smog check world. So let's go ahead and go over this. Now I do want to say that the smog check program is uh, under the consumer affairs. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Like and you need to understand that because when you start um, you, you might be visited and a lot of the stuff I'm not saying you will be but a lot of stuff is uh, it, it, it is under the branch of the consumer affairs but the best way and the easiest way that I find to get to the smog check website now it um, if you just put bar dot uh, ca.gov on there or you can just type in smogcheck.ca.gov you can get there also but one of the things I wanted to point out you know, there's a consumer part and there's an industry part there's information there's online online services and th we'll be breaking down this even farther on but I wanted to start off with just starting with the website to start off with to get you in there so you can look around a little bit and it talks about all this uh, different um, latest news going on. Uh, I know you've all heard about the cattle converter thefts and right now they're in the process even at the dealership level of, of actually um, engraving the cattle converters or talk about that. Uh, there's uh, you know licensing um, light on um, printing has been delayed because of COVID more than anything but there's all kinds of things you know the consumers can get in here also they can look for a shop, they can look for assistance programs, uh, and they can uh, look at your license to see if it's valid. They can actually put a complaint form against the uh, shop. Uh, your license renewal can now be done online. Now, one of the things we'll talk about later on when I uh, get deeper into the classes, is, uh, the level two classes, we're gonna be talking about the STAR, you know, STAR program. And one of the documents I really encourage you to um, get a hold of, download the most current mo um, version of it. I actually uh, will have it in our, uh, our, our a Canvas Shell 2. And you want to uh, start reading this guy. He's going to give you some insight on some of the regulations. And there's all kinds of resources, you know, forms, uh, publications. Uh, if you want to get deeper involved with the Bureau of Auto Repair, they have meetings going on all the time. And then you can join their actual email list. All in this uh, nice little website. Now, one, we as technicians and shops, we want to really go into the industry tab. This is going to give you a lot of uh, information uh, when it comes to you know, you know, just information about the industry, what we're talking about. Well, it also goes into the business licensing. You want to open up a smog shop. This is where you need to go to your individual licenses. Then uh, the smog check program all together. And then the STAR program, well, like I said, I'll be uh, talking more about that in the level two uh, program. And the cap repairs. And this is where you, you get into the customers, uh, you know, assistance programs. And then your training, which is the one part I really recommend you get up uh, to and keep up to date. You don't want to lose your license. So let's go ahead and get into the smog check program to start off with. And here's where all the resources at. You know, talks about uh, the smog check. The last time they updated the manual, which I, you know, I, I'm surprised. Uh, but you know, I, you know, everything's been going on. Uh, and we'll, you know the smog check manual. We'll be we'll be diving into this in this class, and then you get into the uh, smog check reference guide. And we'll talk about you know the different you know uh, you know the bar referee stations. Uh, the, you know the uh, engine change guidelines, which is important that you know, uh, and you know onboard diagnostic test references. Uh, well, you know the, again we'll get deeper into the uh, the star program. And the equipment that you have to have, is it certified? Is it, you know, the equipment drops off the certification list? It can, you know. And they go into the emissions table, talk about the two-speed idle uh, cut points, and we'll talk about an ASM te uh, test and the gross polluter standards. Uh, 
one of the uh, which I really want to do a whole video on just on this for you is the Air Resources Board aftermarket you know, performance. There are certain cars that you can actually buy nitrous kits for. So there's all kinds of great information up here. You know, performance add-ons are they have an executive order attached to them, and we'll talk more about that as we go along too. And then getting to more in the training, we'll talk, you know, we'll get into a little bit of this, uh, talking about the cap repairs and the uh, level two training. We'll talk about, you know, software modification checks, uh, permanent codes, uh, you know, uh, procedures. And then we'll get, I'll talk a little bit <coughs> about the PRX Smoke Inspector Program, the PRX. Uh, PSIP program, which I actually teach at the college too, and then uh, you know um, zip um, zip code updates and stuff like that. So all this is going on just on this little bitty website. So I hope this was beneficial for you, and it gives you a little bit. You know, I really recommend that you go onto the website every once in a while, uh, at least once a month, to see what's going on. All right. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If it was, please you know feel free to make comments down below, and if uh, I'll also leave my contact information for you. Also, uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to me uh, or leave a com um, you know leave a comment down below. Take care of yourself, and we'll be talking very soon. Bye for now.